In this video, we look at some issues relating to reliability in class design. In particular, we consider the impact of assuming that methods will always be called in a sensible way. This had its greatest impact when considering how much checking of parameter values should be done in a method. We also consider how a server object can indicate to a client whether a method call has been successful or not. We shall use the address book project for this. The address book project allows contact details to be stored. These consist of names, addresses and phone numbers. Names and phone numbers are used as keys into the address book. They can be used to look up the full details. In this video we should be using the version of the address book project that has a GUI that allows the address book to be searched and modified. The interface has been built using a JTABD pane. The four panes allow the address book to be listed, to be searched, to have new entries added, and to have entries removed. It's the removal operation that we shall use as the focus of this demonstration. As we saw in the listing pane, the address book demo class has set up some dummy data which includes an entry for David. Let's use the removal pane to remove David's entry. We see the message David removed. Now let's try removing an entry that does not exist, Jane. We see that the program has crashed as indicated by the red error area in the terminal window. Scrolling to the top we see that the cause is a java.lang.null pointer exception. It's in the remove details method at line 121 of addressbook.java. Let's take a look at that line and see if we can see what the problem is. A null pointer exception always means that we've tried to call a method on a variable that's null, i.e. the variable is not referring to an object. The culprit is from the line before, where we looked up the details based on a non-existent key. In the line where the error occurred, the method assumes that details will be storing a reference to the matching contact detail object, but it isn't. If we are to prevent this error, then we must check to make sure that contact details were retrieved before trying to use them. The fix is easy, and we shall make it. That should prevent the problem. Let's try again with the same two names. We've certainly prevented the error, but we've exposed another problem. The program says that Jane has been removed, but we know that there was no Jane in the address book. Let's look at the code for removal. The client of the address book object is the action listener attached to the text field. This calls the remove details method and just assumes it was successful. It then goes on to give a misleading confirmation message. If we are to improve this, we either have to have the client object check first that the key is valid, or have the address book return a true false indication of success or failure. For the purposes of this chapter, we shall use the latter approach. We have to replace the void return type with boolean, and then add an else part to the if statement to return false. Before we modify the code in the client object that calls remove details, Let's illustrate an important point about the change we've made here. Once again, we shall remove the non-existent Jane from the address book. The key point to notice is that the addition of the success failure indication in the server object address book has not forced us to make a corresponding change in the client object. We can still blithely ignore the fact that a removal might fail. Of course, what we should really write is the following. In summary, we've seen that methods often need to check their parameters to ensure that they're not being asked to perform an impossible or inappropriate action. A success or failure indication can often be returned to the client object using a boolean return type. However, we've seen that there is nothing to require the client object to pay attention to a failure action and modify its subsequent behavior. 
In the chapter we explore exceptions as a way around this limitation, 